In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mint your own smart contract with Manifold Studio. So you're going to go to studio.manifold.xyz and create new contract. And here you're just going to put in the title of your collection. So in my case, it's going to be Asopica. This is where you decide what type of contract you want to create. The 721 contract is for one of one types of art and then the ERC 1155 is for multiples. So if you wanted to make, let's say 15 copies, you would use this and it would be 15 copies of the same art. But with the 721, you're just going to be creating one of one art. Uh, and then the symbol is where you're going to be putting kind of an abbreviation of your contract or collection name. So for me, I'm going to do like something like this. You are limited up to five characters for the symbol. So next you're going to click on here where it says Gorelli. So you're going to need the test net Ethereum, uh, basically fake ETH to mint your smart contract to the test net first. So when you click that, it brings you to a series of faucets. I like to use the faucet paradigm. It makes you sign in with your Twitter and then they want to make sure you're a real person. So once you've given authority to that or um, application permission on that, you can go to your MetaMask wallet and copy your uh, wallet address. And then you're going to paste it over here and then claim your fake Ethereum on the Gorelli testnet. So once that's done, it should take a little while, but eventually on your MetaMask, what you're going to do is up on the top where it says Ethereum mainnet, you click show hide test networks and then turn that on. So now we have the option up here to scroll down to the Gorelli test network. And you can see that you have the Gorelli ETH in order to mint your smart contract. So now that we have that, we can go back to the manifold. And down here, you're going to click on the ASCII mark. And this is where you put in your signature that's on chain. So down here where it says plenty of tools, you're going to click that. And then you can come up with a name for your artist collection. So for me, I'm going to call it Asopica. And then down here, you'll click select and copy. Go back to your contract and then you're going to paste that in here, down here. And then simply click deploy on Gorelli. Now it's going to compile a contract. It takes a little bit of time, but once those signature requests pop up, you'll confirm them and that will be minted to the testnet. Okay. So I've gone back to my dashboard and under the overview tab, I have my contract right here, asopica.zcreativemedia. So, this is actually a collection that I am doing in collaboration with Storytime DAO. And what we're doing is raising money for the DAO. So I've created this piece of art that I want to mint and I want 50% to go to the DAO and the other 50% I want to go directly to me. One of the things that I really love about Manifold is that it really makes it easy to follow the steps. So really, you're just going to be going through each one of these buttons, um, minting a token on the test net, deploying a contract on the main net, and then minting a token on the main net. And at the very end, we will set the royalties. After deploying your contract to the main net, you can go to your dashboard or up here to overview. And so if you go to your contract that you've deployed, you'll be able to see tokens up here. So I've already minted a token to this contract, um, but I'm going to be stepping you through the process. So I'm going to be creating a new NFT. So I'll click create. And then in this case, I'm doing a single token, a one of one. And over here, I'm just going to drag my artwork into this field right here, or I can click on it. And here's the artwork that I'm going to be minting. After selecting the artwork, you're going to see down here on the bottom right that it's actually uploading. That could take some time. So while that's working, you can go over here to add the title. And 
go ahead and add a description. So for me, I have the description of the story for this character down here where you're going to be able to add a new property and under text, I'm going to add things like protagonist and the protagonist in this story is the miser. And for reference on what these properties are, when you look at an NFT, let's say on Rarible, there's the property tab. And under here, you have all the different characteristics that would describe this piece of art. So this is the metadata. And over here, when I am adding these properties, it really can just be anything I want. Um, so I'm just gonna continue adding properties. Okay, so I have my artwork fully uploaded and there's an option to add a thumbnail. So for this, I like to use Vimeo. Once you've uploaded the video onto Vimeo, you can go to the settings, advanced settings, and then down here, there's an option to create a GIF. So that will redirect you, but you can essentially create this GIF. And when you click that, it gives you this um, six second time frame. So if you drag this out, you can select which six seconds do you want to create the GIF of. So I already created that. It's over here. And when it's ready, you can download it. And I like to do the large file size. So once that's downloaded, you can drag that into your thumbnail preview here. So with thumbnail selected, I have this GIF that's gonna be really easy to just add right here. Drag and drop. So that takes a second to upload as well. But once that's done, I would just do a second review on all of the information, title, URL, description, and all the properties. Okay, so you should see that the status is saved and the thumbnail is looking good. I can switch back over to, to the artwork. You can see that that MP4 file is in there really nicely. And now I'm ready to mint to the main net. So I click that. I'm going to mint this to myself and I'm only minting a single token to my wallet. So it does take some time to upload because it is putting it on the block weave, which is the, the perma web using AR Weave. So this is a decentralized file storage solution. And you only have to pay once to store this um, as opposed to the interplanetary file system where you continuously have to pay in order to save stuff on that network. But give this some time, allow it to upload the metadata as well. And then your MetaMask window should pop up if it doesn't, go ahead and look for that little blue one notifying you that there is a transaction ready to sign. So I'm going to confirm this transaction and it is going to be minting that token and finalizing. All right, so it is minted. So now that this token is minted, I'm going to look at it on Rarible. So Rarible honors the on-chain royalties that you set on your Manifold Smart Contract. So while that's opening on Rarible, I'm just gonna show you the token settings for the actual smart contract. So under overview, you have your smart contract that you can select and then settings and on-chain royalties. So I've already set this, but essentially you're just going to put whatever wallet address you'd like to receive your ETH in upon sale of this NFT. And for me, I'm just putting my MetaMask, but you can use a hardware wallet. And I've put 50% because I'm sharing the other 50% with the Storytime DAO. So you do save these royalties on-chain, so click Save Royalties and go ahead and pay for that transaction to go through and give it a minute. But when it's done, you'll have on-chain wallet splits with the organization that you're selling with. 
So this could be really good for a gallery situation. Now back over to Rarible. So I do have this minted to my own smart contract. You can see the name of it right here. Um, the current owner, obviously, it's still in my wallet. For me, what I want to do is I want the Storytime DAO to list this for sale and make the sale for me so that the on-chain royalties automatically get deposited. So this is the on-chain wallet split and how it works. Instead of putting this on sale from my wallet, what I want to do is um, click on these three dots and I'm going to transfer this NFT. And the place I'm going to transfer it to is Storytime DAO's wallet. Now for you, you may want to use a gallery to sell your art. In that case, you'll send it to their wallet. But over here, I'm pasting in the wallet address for the Storytime DAO, and I'm going to click Continue. So what this does is it takes the NFT out of my wallet, and it puts it into the wallet of the Storytime DAO, which uh, is acting as sort of a collection to house all of these NFTs that we're doing for Aesop's Fables. So I'm going to pay for that transfer. So you can see that it's processing the transfer. I can close and continue that. Over in the Storytime DAO collection, this is a wallet that they set up. They're gonna be listing this for sale on their end. And you'll see like for instance, this one that we had before, when they make the sale, cause they're the ones who listed it, they will receive the uh, other half of this ETH and then with the royalty set for 50% on my Manifold Smart Contract, the other remaining 50% automatically goes to my wallet that I set on chain. So that's pretty much it. Really love how this turned out. This is a really fun project to be involved with and can't wait to see what y'all come up with.